in a move that underscores the Zimbabwean government's push for the adoption of the new currency. Zimbabwe Gold Zig, ZANU PF Manikaland provincial leadership has issued a directive mandating all party members to embrace the controversial currency. The directive, reportedly issued by ZANU PF heavyweight Patrick Chinamasa, was revealed over the weekend, signaling a significant shift in the party's stance towards Zig. According to insiders, Chinamasa declared the use of Zig mandatory among party members during a gathering on Sunday. The provincial coordinating committee members are here for the new currency Zig community engagement. Politburo members Patrick Chinamasa and Andy Mlanga are here for the Zig meeting. Zig is a must for all members. A ZANU PF source disclosed. Chinamasa's pronouncement marks a notable departure from the party's previous cautious stance on Zig which has faced skepticism and resistance from some quarters. The move to compel ZANU-PF members to embrace the new currency reflects President Emerson Umningagwa's administration's determination to promote its adoption despite widespread concerns. In response to the directive, ZANU-PF members are expected to engage in community outreach initiatives aimed at familiarizing the public with ZIG and promoting its acceptance. The involvement of high-ranking party officials including Chinamasa and Andy Mlanga, underscores the significance attached to the adoption of ZIG within ZANU-PF ranks. While proponents argue that ZIG represents a viable solution to Zimbabwe's economic challenges, critics have raised questions about its legality, stability, and potential impact on the country's fragile financial system. The government's push for its widespread adoption has fueled debate and raised concerns among citizens and opposition groups alike. The decision to enforce ZIG usage within ZANU-PF could have far-reaching implications for the currency's acceptance and broader economic policy in Zimbabwe. As the government continues to promote ZIG as a cornerstone of its economic recovery efforts, its success will depend significantly on public perception and confidence. Chinamasa's directive underscores the government's resolve to steer Zimbabwe towards economic stability and prosperity albeit amidst ongoing challenges and uncertainties. However, the effectiveness of such measures in addressing the root causes of Zimbabwe's economic woes remains to be seen, with many observers calling for comprehensive reforms and sustainable solutions. As ZANU-PF members mobilize to embrace SIG, the currency's future trajectory will be closely monitored both domestically and internationally. Its success or failure could have profound implications not only for Zimbabwe's economy but also for the political landscape and broader regional dynamics in southern Africa.